morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and I am bringing you a nice, quick 2v2 battle in Total War Warhammer. Um, I do have the game paused right now because it starts off extremely fast. I think it's only like seven, eight minutes long. Uh, the funding was quite small. It was only 7,500 per player, uh, so I really had to be quite specific with what I felt I needed. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. I just wanted to kind of get a nice screenshot there for my Facebook and Instagram with the uh, Dwarven ruins in the background, my troops lined up, and Carl Franz on Deathclaw, and then uh, I do have a steam tank as well. But we'll quickly go over the army comps uh, before we get started. Um, so I've got, basically this is my army here. It's very small, but it's all I could afford. Um, so I've got Karl Franz. Uh, he is on Deathclaw, so that was quite expensive. And then I have a steam tank as well with some chevron upgrades as well. Uh, and then I've got one solid infantry line, or not so solid, as you will see in a couple of minutes. Uh, but I've got my spears positioned on either flank and then four swords in the center. Uh, my ally over here, um, he's uh, got uh, Lou and Lian Kerr here as his hero, looking, or no, no, sorry, he changed this. Uh, he did, was going to bring Lou and Lian Kerr, but he ended up uh, bringing Alberic de Bordeaux, or Bordeaux, not Bordeaux. Um, and then he's got um, some Knights of the Realm, some Knights Errant, very expensive cav. He went, uh, he put a lot of his money in his cav. Then we got another Knights Errant and uh, Knights of the Realm as well. And then he's got some uh, men at arms in the front. Looks like four units. And I think that's it. Uh, we can get a couple of zoom in shots of these guys. These guys look glorious as well. Look at that screenshot. <laughs> and I think these are uh, more the more basic melee cav here. Look at this guy. This guy looks epic. Very nice. All right, and uh, yeah, I think that covers his army. Uh, like I said, uh, fun super low. So, uh, and uh, we got the green skins here. Um, so I'll go quickly over their army as well. Uh, looks like he's got a couple troll units. I think th two or three trolls, and then he's got some goblins in the back. Pretty trash, but uh, their spears, which is a good good counter to the Bretonian player that's going to be. Uh, facing off against him <laughs> yeah nasty and uh, then uh, he brought the um, elite orc boss let's see if we get a face shot here Grimgor Ironhide he does not look friendly at all look at that axe and uh, yep yeah, more goblins we got the trolls here and then he's got um, some orc boar boys uh, shock cav in the uh, corner there and then he's also actually got some other orc boar, boar boys uh, facing me um, and then the final player is chaos he has the smallest but most elite army uh, he's got these chosen with halberds these guys are probably my favorite looking infantry in the game look at that so deadly take a pick there and uh, then he's got a bunch of heroes here. So he's got the Chaos Sorceress, uh, Shadows. He's got Archeon the Ever Chosen, and the Exalted Hero. So he's got three very uh, good heroes there. And then he's got uh, two of these Hell Cannons, which uh, do unleash hell on my troops, as you will see. So without further ado, let's get this uh, battle started. And here we go, first shots fired. Boom! Oh, deadly. Deadly. And I've got my steam tank trying to fire back. The problem was is that they already had the hill. So I could get some shots off, but not some consistent ones. Ooh. And I realized very quickly I need to get my troops up there. But uh, it's not looking good. You can see already spearmen with shields are breaking. Swordsmen about to break. Morale's dropping. I send Carl Franz up there to try to silence the Hell Cannons. Oh, man. As you can see over here, uh, the Bretonian player, he found the shock cav over here. And he's sending more of his cav over there to help. 
while pushing forwards these men at arms. Now these men at arms are not going to be able to withstand the troll charge. Oh man. But uh, he's going to try to keep them busy while his knights win on the flank. He's got the goblins charging in now. And you can see them charging in as well. So over here, uh, still trying to make it up the hill. It's not, again, not going good. Um, I silence one of the Hell Cannon crews, um, but uh, they're coming right back. Oh, you can see him flying overhead there. These uh, Chosen with Halberds did a lot of damage to me. I kind of had to kite the enemy. Oh, look at that over there. Raining fire. Charge, man, up the hill. Oh, good shot there. You can see over there. Heavy fighting going for the Bretonian side. We'll run over there and take a look. Oops, sorry, guys. Just wanted to get some good close-ups there of the fighting. Oh, deadly charge. Nice. Perfect. That definitely broke those goblins. And the trolls, too. Very nice. Over here, uh, it's not going as good for Bretonia, uh, but he is getting a good charge over here. Uh, Grimgore Ironhide, though, like fully, still full health. So it's anybody's game over there. Looking back at mine, my troops are breaking. They just face up against the Chaos uh, Warriors with Halbrids, or the Chosen, and uh, they're no match. They're just getting cut down. Oh, deadly kill there. Oops. Oh, they're going to rain some fire down on us. Might as well watch this. Oh, ho, ho. oh man. And you can see that breaks the rest of my uh, troops there as well. Um, but I am man managing to silence these hell cannons. But these chosen warriors, they just get a hold of Karl Franz. And look at his health dropping. Quickly, quickly dropping. I need to get out of there for sure. Um, on the other side, it looks like uh, the Bretonian player is winning over here. It's just uh, Grimgore Ironhide that's uh, having some issues. Oh, deadly, deadly. That axe is massive. Crazy, crazy battle. Oh, another good charge from the Knights here. Oh, that causes him to break. He's wavering, shaken. No, he steadied himself. That, that charge wasn't enough to cut him down. Over here, you can see Chaos is still healthy. I'm uh, still trying to uh, throw my men against uh, Archeon here, but that uh, that is kind of a, fool to, a fool's errand. My steam tank missing Archeon, the ever chosen. Oh, deadly. I would not want to be up against Archeon right now. Oh! Oh, there's Deathclaw. Nice. Nice charge there. Spears withdrawing once again. And uh, I my ally has one on his flank, and he realizes I'm having a really tough time against uh, Chaos. So uh, here my steam tank actually gets caught out, but it's okay. They're pretty good in melee. So um, I'll, I'll just keep him there trying to fight the Chosen. Nice, nice. And I'm taking out the last of the crew over there. Is this guy uh, the hero, one of the heroes? Yeah, he is. He's just chilling. Sorry, guys. It's pretty fast-paced, but I am trying to show you everything that's happening in the battle. Oh, nice charge against Archeon. Oh, no. No, that... Oh, that's the exalted hero. I was going to say. He's caught under the steam tank over here. Good charge by by the Bretonian Knights. They're, they are just uh, going to town. 
but uh, he needs to get his infantry in here. I'm, I'm definitely losing this battle. We got uh, the Chosen with Halberds. They're still at half strength. That is insane. And you can see Archeon coming over here to catch Deathclaw, but I'm like, nope, I'm gonna get out of there. Oh, Knight's running into uh, Archeon there. Oh, now he's gonna clash here. This is gonna be epic. Let's see if we can get some uh, good shots of him fighting here. Oh, man. Some buffs going on there. Come on, do an attack. Nice. Oh, some charges from the knights there. The Hell Cannon getting pushed off the cliff by the Knights. A steam tank down to half health. Um, I'm just really trying to keep these Chosen with Halberds busy. Because, uh, look, the Men at Arms are just getting cut down right now. Uh, Bretonian Infantry, pretty trash. They really make up for it with their, their deadly cav charges. Hell Cannon crew, I've just about silenced that. So if you look over the battle, um, yeah, like I, this was a struggle. This was like Vimy Ridge here. Just hundreds of soldiers lost just trying to get up to the battle. It was crazy. I thought for sure in, in the uh, first two minutes of the battle that, that we had lost. But uh, we continue on. It's pretty much just uh, up to Archeon here. He's trying to hold on. Nice. Ooh. I love how the heroes, they take out like five or six guys with one swing. Oh, is, is he trying to escape? Yes, so Fyrick victory there, guys. Um, it was quite an epic battle. I will show you the uh, end results. Um, so yeah, feast your eyes on the no kills I got. Um, I basically just kept Chaos busy so that uh, uh, the Night King here uh, could get over to help me out. But most of my troops didn't even make it up there, and if they did, look, two kills, one kill. They were just way too heavily armored. But that's the fun of having such low money battles like that. Um, Night King doing much better. His infantry not doing the greatest, except this unit got 42, so that's not bad. But look at his horses in rear charges. That's the kills. And a lot of the green skins actually broke because of the, their morale was shattered by these rear charges. So well done by him. Um, Flame Tempest, uh, he's the one who set up the battle. Thank you very much to you. Uh, 90 kills by the Chosen, uh, 125 and 103 by the Hell Cannons, and I bet you 100% of those kills are on, on uh, uh, these uh, these units right here. Uh, and then the Exalted Hero, uh, like them all doing pretty good, and then Archeon getting 107, and then Andrews Belmont playing as the Greenskins, uh, Grimgore Ironhide getting almost 70 kills, not bad. Uh, his Orc Boar Boys, mm, they did okay. They would have been more effective if they didn't get caught um, against uh, Bretonian's Cav. Um, and the Giants doing pretty well as well. Uh, them getting that downhill charge into the into the uh, Men at Arms was pretty deadly. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this, guys. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more Total War or Warhammer content. Be sure to like my Facebook page and Instagram page if you want to see the screenshots that were uploaded from today. And as always, I will see you in the next one.